It's trash games. Like this one. The Falconeer. Everyone made fun of this game. I thought it was just because everyone shits on Microsoft and their exclusives. Oh no, it's because the game is hilariously bad and tone deaf on what mainstream is interested in. You tell me though. When is the last time you said, gee, I wish they made an air combat or accurate flight sim game, but without the planes? Probably the most niche genre imaginable, a genre I can't even see the appeal of when it's not focused on warplanes or something like Panzer Dragoon. The genre bores the shit out of me. I hate being stuck feeling like I'm playing an on-rail shooter. The Falcon is even worse though. You're shoved into a preset role, picking a story to play from a handful of randomly generated nobodies. Fucking butt ugly models that seem to populate the rest of the character roster too. Then you have arbitrary voice lines and battle reports that fit an RTS more than a story driven game. Throw the player into a chapter where their character eventually gets replaced and the story changed anyway so why bother leveling anything? Now sit back and enjoy the dark bland world that you endlessly fly through, having the slowest movement possible on your starter falcon, tasked with side missions or story missions with a god awful amount of repetitive tasks. Go from A to B, then fly back to base. Do the same thing again, and again. Whatever base you start at or wherever you land, all the side quests end up being the same. They don't refresh or change. Some of them are like this pointless tutorial one, explaining how to fish with your falcon so it can pick up food to heal. Or this delivery one, that has the objective halfway across the other side of the map. Nothing happens either, you aren't attacked, you don't need to land to rest or anything. What makes it worse? I played through two mind-numbingly dull chapters and the fucking overworld music never changed. It's this atmospheric chanting that drones on and on. Morbid and depressing at times, others, it just made me want to fall asleep. When I say the exploration, or lack thereof, or the travel in this game is bad, I'm not exaggerating. No, here. You tell me. Look at it. This is all you are doing. I put my controller on the ground and walked away and I was still flying relatively straight. I still hadn't made it to my objective when I got back either. Something about the gameplay in the Falconeer is just so awful and boring. You can skip some of the travel time once you have completed an objective, so at least you don't have to fly all the way back the way you just came, but other times you get tasked with escorting a cruiser or something, and the goddamn thing just chugs along slower than you fly, making it so you have to brake to slow down, or just circle around it to keep it in view. It's pointless too, because some of these escort missions, nobody attacks, and nothing happens. Just slowly following this slow ass ship for 10 minutes. That's the quest. It's exactly like how they make you follow NPCs that walk slower than your run, but faster than your walk. Only rarely you have an objective where you get stopped by other enemy factions in the air or the sea. Then you engage in wonky dog fights, endlessly circling around each other till somebody dies, hopefully me. Why not also have the worst flight controls too? So that you're fighting the camera and the spastic lock-on more than other fighters. Like putting the speed up and dodge on the same button or having the brake and dive buttons have a directional tilt separating them when you're in a bloody flying game. Or even make simple actions like landing at base. Have you overshoot the target before the confirmation to land kicks in? Mapping the controls onto strange places and unfamiliar layouts so that you have your fingers all over the controller to use everything. Make it so all the UI has no information on ammo count or even what commands you are giving out either. Just having stupid things on your back that glow blue or red if running low on ammo. Could never tell where or if my wingman was engaging where I wanted or what I told him to target. The targeting system is terrible. 
The game doesn't even explain this circle thing at all, which I just assumed was the leading lock-on and place to fire at when leading a moving target. But sometimes with a direct line, I was just not hitting anything, even if I saw the hits connect because I was sitting right in the target's face. The actual gimmick to the game is that your falcon can grab things, like sea mines for example, which you then drop onto targets. But god help me if they forgot to give you a targeting system to aim stuff you drop. Which means you just have to target track to hold the camera and hope your drop is set up good. They even thought having a stamina bar would be a good idea. But even better, make it recharged by having to dive down. Which, in fights, made me have to disengage the enemy and fly up just to have enough room to drop down. Or have me in this looping task of dash forward, use the last of my stamina to angle up and then dive action just to cross vast sections of ocean doing fuck all. They do give you wind tunnels and air currents that can push you along or up. Half the time you are flying low to see below the clouds so you never hit the high currents. And the low ones? The fucking low ones? Their hitbox must be massive. Even not aiming at them, I would accidentally be shot up in an uncontrollable rise while in combat. So then your camera is pulled into a stupid direction that totally fucks up your controls in whatever direction you were actually flying. Fucking nice. I don't know about anyone here, but flight sim games aren't exactly mainstream. Who decided to make this game? How they designed the story or non-story? How they made it so you aren't a set character or even get to stick with one you make? The repetitive music, the trash controls, the endless go here, do this, go back task, the rinse and repeat objectives, the endless circling dogfights. None of this is good game design. Even if you like games like Pilot Wings or Panzer Dragoon, the Falconeer is just terrible. I actually played for longer than I wanted to, hoping something would click. The game might get better. It doesn't. Everything you do is pointless. The story is disconnected and boring. The gameplay is dull and features long expanses of nothing to travel through doing sweet FA in the meantime. Your falcon controls like shit. Objectives to get more money to upgrade everything are reused and recycled over and over. The fucking voice actors sound like they don't want to be there and have about as much enthusiasm and personality in their performance as I do on stream. Dunkel is on its last legs. Our holdings and trading ships have been under pirate attack for years. Competing free houses have been nibbling away. What you see today is all that's left of Dunkel. The game is ugly. The music is grating. Why would I even care that this game can do 120 FPS when everything looks like it was made by a high schooler? There has been no effort put into this game. No thought into making it exciting or appealing to the mainstream. Literally having sections where you can actually get off the Falcon and explore stuff yourself would have made the game slightly better. Like what's on the fucking cover art for the game? At no point can you ever get off the Falcon. Whatever made you think that? But no, I just couldn't even play more than four hours of the shite. Thanks, Microsoft, for showing that your exclusives are worthy of people joking about. Losing faith at a massive new IP or AAA is ever going to come to the Series X at all. But sure, go ahead and tell me the Falconeer is amazing and it's just too complicated for me to understand or appreciate. Oh no, stupid gamer girl doesn't know good fight combat games go back to the kitchen. All I have to say to that is, enjoy your suicide inducing screensaver. Thanks for watching, I didn't enjoy doing this review and I'm getting real pissed off at the state of games this year. Don't expect many game reviews this month, ain't shit out. Yeah, that's it. Just gonna go. Bye.